Hello, good morning viewers. Today I have another word problem question which is very much related to sharing and it is also a suggested question from my Facebook fan in person of Enamullah. So now let us read the question. The question reads, in a section of Milk City, so it is a particular city which I don't know, the ratio of private homes to apartment house dwellings is in ratio 5 to 3. If all the apartments are brick structures and one over 10 of the private homes are wooden structures, what is the maximum portion of houses that may be bricks? So understanding this question is half its answer. So you can pause the video and give it a try and if you're ready, let's do it together. First of all, let us bring out our data. Let the private homes be P. So we have P, they are in ratio to the apartments and let that apartment be A. From the question, they are in ratio five to three. So we have five to three. What this means for every five private homes, there are three apartments present in that city. But we don't know the actual number of houses in that city, which is the combination of these apartments and private homes. So since we don't know, we can let x to be that number. So let I remember since we are sharing, we have to add ratios together. So we have sum of ratios. They are 5 to 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. So we have 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. So the first thing we need to do is to find the total number of each of these categories. We have two categories, the private homes and the apartment houses. So we start with the private, which 5 represents. For the private, we have five out of eight multiplied by the total number of houses within that city, including the uh, private and apartments, which we have let X to be. So times X. This is the same thing as saying five times X, which is five X divided by eight. So we can write this as five X over eight. So this is the same thing as saying five X over eight. This is the portion of private homes. Then for the apartments, which three represent is the same thing as saying three X over eight. We do not have any problem with this because from the question, it says all of them, apartments, you can see them here. They are all brick structures. So we do not have problem with this but you can see a portion of these private homes, one over 10 out of them are wooden structures. This means not all of them. So we need to find those that are wooden structures and those that are not wooden structures among these private homes. So wooden structures, they are one out of 10 of the total number of private homes, which we have here as 5x over 8. 5x over 8. We can simplify because 5 can go into 5 one time and 5 can go into 10 two times. What we have at the numerator is just x, and the numerator we have 2 times 8, which is 16. So X over 16 is the total number of wooden structures among these private homes. So what about the portion that are not wooden structures that are also private homes? We need to find them. To find them, we need to subtract this portion from the total number, which is 5X over 8. So we say non-wooden structures will be the total, which is 5X over 8, 
minus x over 16. To simplify fractions as simple as possible, we can change their denominators to be exactly the same. We have 16 here, and this is 8. By multiplying 8 by 2, it becomes 16. But definitely, we have to multiply the numerator as well. So we times the top and the bottom by 2. 2 times 5x is 10x, minus x is 9x, so we have 9x over the common denominator, which is 16. So 9x over 16 are the portion of the houses in this part of private homes that are not wooden structures. So since they are not wooden structures, look at the question. It says, what is the maximum portion of houses that may be bricks? If we say maximum, we can let the whole of this portion to be bricks. Let us assume they are all bricks because that is the maximum we can have. So we can add it with these present ones, which from the question we have learned that all of them are brick. So if we add this and this, we are going to get the maximum number. So the maximum number will be equal to a, which we have a here, plus non-wooden. Our a is 3x over 8. And our non-wooden structures are 9x over 16. 9x over 16. We can do the same as we did here. To change this to 16, we have to multiply top and bottom by 2. So we can multiply top and bottom by 2. The top becomes 6 because 2 times 3x is 6x. Then 6x plus 9x is 15, 15x over the common denominator, which is 16. So what this means, the maximum number of brick structures are 15 over 16 of all the houses. Of all, you see, x is all the houses because we have let x to be the total number of houses. So our answer is 15 over 16. This is the portion of all the houses collectively that are brick structures, if we are looking for the maximum. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.